Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And somebody asked me the question uh, today, and it's something we talked about last year. It was coming, but it wasn't still there yet. So if you right click in 24H2 into the Start button and go into your Task Manager. Um, so in the Performance tab, when you look at what's out there, there are, of course, different informations like the CPUs and gigahertz speed. You'll have, you know, information about memories and uh, all sorts of data about your hardware. But one of them in the memory, the RAM memory, has changed. And not everybody had noticed, but 24H2 was to bring this change. Instead of having your speed of the RAM in megahertz or gigahertz, your speed of RAM is in millions of transfers per second now. And so the question that came today is, what does it mean? And why didn't they keep the um, gigahertz speed or megahertz speed? So here's the thing. When you have transfers in RAM memory, the problem is RAM, depending on the system that you have, will have different speeds of refresh, which is the numbers we see when we see, oh, the RAM is running at, you know, 2,000 megahertz. Well, that's the refresh rate. And the refresh rate, although gives some indication of speed, what the problem is, is depending on the system you have, 2,000 megahertz doesn't always mean the same speed because 2000 megahertz on system A could be slower than 2000 megahertz on system B because of the hardware. But the refresh is the same speed. So because of that, the information given was not accurate. So they changed it to millions of transfers per second. And that means that what you see here as a number is the actual speed of data transfer. And that means that what you see here is if you see 2,500 million of transfers per second, you know that it's slower than 3,200 millions of transfers per second. And if you see 5,000 millions of transfers per second, you know that the speed of transfer of data in memory is faster on that machine. So this actually is much closer to the reality of how fast the transfers are and how fast the RAM data is exchanged. So uh, this was something that they had announced would happen at some point because a lot of, uh, of, of people had noticed that, you know, the companies would just put out a number here and we would all just like, oh, well, you know, this is a 2,000 megahertz. It must be faster than that 1.5 gigahertz or 1,500 megahertz. Or, you know, uh, 2.5 gigahertz. Oh, this is slower than that 3 gigahertz. That doesn't work like that. The gigahertz speed is a refresh rate, which does not actually uh, equal speed all the time. It really depends on how the hardware is created and what type of hardware you have. So you could have a um, speed of five gigahertz that would be slower than another machine doing the same at three gigahertz because it handles better all the data transfer. So millions of transfers per second is the new term and it usually is a much more representative of the reality of what's happening in speed than what we had in the past. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.